All right, what's up, everyone? Um, I just wanted to show you a little bit about transactions in my SQL. Um, everyone shows you insert, update, delete, and uh, insert, update, delete, create. I don't know what the other one is, but they show you all those, but they don't show you about transactions. And transactions are super powerful whenever you need to manage existing data, and they really help you out. So. Uh, first thing we need to do is make sure the table that you're running these transactions on supports them. So you need to either query for the table or go into whatever designer you have or anything and make sure your table type is NODB or something else that supports transactions. Um, my ISAM does not support transactions so if you try to run a transaction and roll it back it won't it'll just commit whatever you ran in there so I always use NODB for all my tables unless I need full text search then I use the other one but make sure that's set NODB don't forget so we have this data here it's a bunch of temperatures and everything and we need to convert these Fahrenheit temperatures to Celsius so, um, let me insert an update statement here. All right, so saying update from apartment temp temps set apartment temperature equals to the temperature divided by 3.24, just quick and dirty. And you can do so much when testing out your scripts, but it always helps to be able to run it against your um, pr production database or whatever database that needs the script to run against and be able to view the changes, make sure they work, and then roll it back or commit the changes. So with transactions, we can start a transaction, do some work, look at it, then roll it back and the database is right where it was. So to do this, we need to start out at the top of our script and say start transaction. And everything ends in a semicolon here because we have multiple set statements. So we need that in there. And then at the very end, we need uh, rollback. And this will roll back anything that's happened in that transaction. So anything that happens in here it gets executed and then we roll it back so let's run this so we can see down in the query log here we started our transaction we did the select we did the update 618 rows were updated we did a select again so we could look at the values and then we rolled it back so if we were to just run a select here um, Actually, if we had a if I had a good uh, MySQL client, we could see the multiple uh, steps in this. But um, I haven't found one yet on OSX that does it for SQL Server um, SQL Server Management Studio. You can have multiple selects and see all the results. It's really nice. But um, I'm using Navicat, and it doesn't have it. So anyway, we ran this transaction. Uh, if we just run the select statement, we can see that we still have the Fahrenheit temperatures, even though we ran this update and all 618 records were updated. Um, it's not there anymore because we rolled it back. So how do you, how are you able to verify these results if your client doesn't support the multiple transactions? What you can do is you can run these uh, one at a time. So if I highlight this and in Navicat here I hit command shift R so I just ran the highlighted statement and I ran the start transaction so we're in a transaction here and I can run this select so we can see everything is in Fahrenheit now let's run this update update went affected uh, 618 rows now we can run the select and view the changes from our update and here we are we have all the temperatures all 618 
in Celsius from our transaction and we can say oh this is good this is bad we don't want it and we don't want this to stick so we can highlight our rollback here and run that our rollback went through rolled back this transaction and now if we do a select again everything's back in Fahrenheit so that's pretty cool and um, this is something that a lot of people don't show you when you're learning SQL they show you all the basics select update insert delete and they don't show you transactions or that you can go in start a transaction by just running start tran perform your updates view the results while you're still in this transaction you can work through it you could do another update so we want to take these copy it and multiply it back run that do our select again you can do all kinds of stuff in here We're back in Fahrenheit if we want to roll back we can roll it back or if you're happy with all the changes you can say commit so if we run this commit it will make those changes stick but I don't want to do that so I'll just roll back and everything back to normal so real powerful really quick and easy it's just something that uh, they don't show you too often so have any questions just ask make sure your tables use an NODB and uh, still learning transactions test it out in a test environment or whatever don't go and run this against production or whatever but uh, when you do you want to test your scripts one last time before you run it start a transaction do your work and roll back